Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 9, Episode 16. It's the season finale. Finally broke. And we can't fix it. I kept trying to hold on. We did. Oh, this is the aftermath. Fires raged. The rot spread. It's knowing when to keep fighting him. Oh, Carol. Knowing when it's over. My heart breaks. Guys, I'm going live after this episode to talk all things season 9. Because this season has been wild. There's a lot to talk about and I won't be able to do it justice in a little condensed um, conclusion at the end of this episode. The Acts of Courage. I am so gutted. So, same time next year? Is that now off the cards? The first annual fair was also the last annual fair? Look, winter is coming for the Walking Dead. I don't know what we're going to do from this point forward because we spent the whole entire season getting preparations for the fair, um, which obviously was in order to create this treaty and this contract between the communities. Is that now null and void because Tara... Lost a red. No one can agree on what to do next. And the council cannot come to any security resolutions. Everyone's still reeling. Uh-huh. Between Jesus, Tara, and the others we lost. I know. And still nothing what from a me. season. Is that them? The people watching us now, huh? Wow. So they've constantly got eyes on. And we're just allowing that shit to happen. You don't have to protect me. I know how they feel about me. No, don't mean they get to talk to you like that. So I don't want to cause any more problems. Well, it's too late for that, that now, love. The damage is done, so you might as well just stay on our side. Henry wanted her here. No one else did. She's a good kid. Just with a lot of issues. Every time I look at her, I oh, and Cal waits there. Hey, boss. Barometer's taking a nose death. We've got a mother of a storm coming up. We'll have to travel through the night if we have any hope of making it to the next way station before it hits. If a storm is coming, hopefully walkers can't walk in the snow. The meeting room, Aaron's house, and Barbara's have the largest working fireplaces well divided to those. I'll get the word out. We'll gather up dry firewood, stock up, get cozy, and ride it out. We can't leave Negan. He'll freeze down there. We have to let him out. Oh! You'll be like, no, I don't like the word outside, and I don't like the snow either. Actually, this snow... Is actually probably going to be such a nuisance and a hindrance to our survival. You given much thought to your plans after this? No. Uh, why? The past few months have been difficult for Carol and I. I'm hoping for a fresh start with her at Hilltop. And it'd be easier if it was just us. Pardon? I'm not trying to be the bad guy here, man. I just want to get back a piece of what I lost. What we lost. 
No, no. After everything, you, you think you could give me that? No. Actually, I don't think I can. See, good. This is what I expected from the snow. Stop those bitches in their tracks. What are you doing? She's like, I don't like the winter either. I don't want to see this winter through. Take me out. Um, no. Lydia? Can someone come get this bitch, please? We are not doing everything that we did for you, girl, just for you to call it quits now. You do not get to decide. Ooh. Cat was like, just look at the flowers, darling, and let it happen. <laughs> we need to get off the roads, find shelter between here and the next way station. You have a place in mind? Yeah. Oh my god, are we at the sanctuary? The sanctuary. Oh my god, what a blast from the past! <laughs> oh my god, is this gonna be our new home? I mean, sure, alright. It smells like a goddamn barn and you're all bored shitless, but. Language! Sorry. But I mean, we've got ourselves this hot little love quadrangle here to entertain <laughs> us. <laughs> it's like Christmas to me. Oh, well, maybe they're just as miserable at errands. Oh, I us. did kind of forget how hilarious Negan is. You ever wonder what the hell is going on in there when she has her appointments? You could try to be a little less predictable. Ah, that hurts, Gabe. Truly. Father. Not the father. <laughs> <laughs> is that unpredictable enough for you? <laughs> I feel guilty when I laugh, but it's hilarious. Hey, kiddo, you still worried about that mutt? Daryl told me to take care of him while he helped the kingdom move to Hilltop. I don't know where he is. Oh no, where's the dog? Does anybody else smell something? Can you stop being such an asshole? No, he's right, something does smell funky in here. What is that? Get away from there! Oh. <laughs> was that a gas leak? What sent your nostrils earlier was no doubt a toxic mixture of creosote and H2O. I think that means there was a gas leak. God, I missed you, Eugene. <laughs> Can't say the same. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a strange awkward dynamic and I'll live for it. I need to find some kind of joy and humour and happiness in this shit show. I would not feel comfortable being all tied and tethered together because you're only as strong as your weakest link. Oh my god, how bad is this motherfucking storm? We're gonna make it. Alright? We will. Yeah. Something happened back there with you and Ezekiel? Actually, no. yeah, kind of. <laughs> he only blames you because he can't let himself blame me. Oh. I feel like I'm losing myself again. I'm really trying to hang on, but I don't. Why do you have to be strong all the time? Be vulnerable. I'll look after you. Well, I won't because I'm shit at everything, but <clears throat> I'll give you a hug anyway. There's no way we'll make it, not in these conditions. Rick's bridge would have saved us. Could have cut half a day of our travel time. Well, we don't need a bridge. Creeks and ponds are frozen over. As long as we don't all go at once, we could probably just walk across. Oh, I do not know if that's a good idea. 
<laughs> we don't even know how to fight them yet. It's only a couple of miles. Hey, we can cross at night. They won't know that we're there. What if they already know? They could have been watching us in that field back there. I know. No reason to move now. And this storm could dump enough snow to make these roads impassable for weeks. It's either we make it to the next way station, or we die. Oh, we don't really have much choice then, do we? Road trips are unsuccessful in the summertime, let alone in a blizzard. All this time we spent apart. I thought it made us stronger. It didn't. That woman was able to walk amongst us because we didn't know each other. That's true, yeah. But hindsight, do not blame yourself. We did not have no crystal ball. And that charter we signed, it means something. It means that these people aren't just yours anymore. They're ours. That's true too. And we're going to get them home. If they see us crossing that border, it could start something. Good, I want to start so something. make sure that they don't. Well, no, I don't want to start something because I was like, I want something to go down. And when something went down, I was really upset and I wish it never went down. So actually, I don't think I do want us to start anything. <sighs> Just get excited, okay? I am still in shock and severely pissed off by the outcome of the last episode. This is absolutely ridiculous that we have to travel in these weather conditions. I hear the dog! Oh, we need to get a dog. The dog ain't gonna survive in these weather conditions. Judith, don't just run away like that. Judith! <gasps> Actually, I, weirdly, I feel quite comfortable with Negan going after Judith. I feel like they're friends enough that he's actually gonna try to protect her for real. <gasps> Hello? Oh, wait there, they might be frozen walkers. We like frozen walkers. They ain't gonna bother us. This is so eerie. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Game of Friends. <laughs> Cause winter definitely did come. Oh, why do two of my faves have to check the ice? <laughs> Call me sacrifice someone I don't even know the name of. I mean, I don't want anyone to die, but if someone did die. Hey, where's Lydia? Oh, don't be I'm saying that. I'm gonna go find that. her. You can get everyone across. I'll be right back. All right, let's move. Oh no, why are some of them frozen and some of them not? Do some run warmer than others? Look at all these bloody walkers coming out of hibernation long before they were due to. What do you think you're doing? Coming out, scraping our ankles, so we're going to chop your head off. Side note, I'm really quite sad that this season is ending because this has been amazing. Hold up, not too many at once. Not too many at once. Oh, and some of them are partly frozen, which makes it harder to kill them. You've got to slap them a few times. So Cavill's out looking for Lydia. Negan's out looking for Judith. Judith's out looking for Dog. Bloody hell, this will be so much simpler if we all had mobile phones. Everyone's acting like getting the hilltop's gonna make all our problems go away. Like it's gonna make everything better, but it's not gonna change shit. No. Same shit, different location. If they hadn't taken me in to begin with, all those people would still be alive. Your son's dead because of me. Oh my god, careful, don't poke the bear babes. But this is survivor's guilt. You didn't kill no one. Henry said I was a 
a good person when he was wrong. As long as I'm one of you, it's never gonna stop. You're not selling this whole taking care of you gig very There's well. There's only one way to fix this. Do you see it? It can be you. No one else has to know. <gasps> Cavill's gonna be like, look at the flowers, Lydia. I don't think she will do. She's like, you know what, actually, enough children have died on my watch. I'm not doing it anymore. This is how you keep from losing anyone else. Darling, I am grieving the death of my son. And you're asking me to come kill you? Please. Have you no <gasps> compassion for me either? I'm struggling too, babe. Please, just do it. Do it for Henry. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh! Lord God, that's what I say, Carol, that old dog, and your soul, babes. It out, Nick. Oh, okay, if Carol has a soft spot for Lydia, then I definitely am gonna have a soft spot for her then. Oh my god, we're like in the vortex of a hurricane or something. Oh shit! You be careful, every hurricane has a flying cow, by the way, so make sure you duck and take cover. Shoot it! <gasps> eyes on, eyes on. Oh. Negan, if Rick could see you now. Now we need to hope that Judith and that dog come back unscathed in one piece because we are instantly gonna blame Negan for it if not. I tell you something, kid. That dog, you better poop little gold nuggets, you know what I'm saying? Your leg looks like shit. Oh, language. language Miss Grimes. <laughs> Listen, if Negan dies while protecting Judith, he might be redeemed. I mean, the stakes are high. <laughs> Just do this one little thing for us, Negan, and all will be forgiven. Oh my god, we got portraits of Glenn and Ashel. I love that we don't forget about our fallen. I know you have to do this. But I will never stop loving you. And I'll never regret the fairy tale. Oh. Oh, are they parting ways? How are you? You good? What happened? It's cold. <laughs> This episode has been depressing as shit, so something minute like, like this, I'm like filled with joy. Because if I don't smile and clap like this, then I'm actually going to start crying. <sighs> oh, it's too late, I'm already crying. Well, look who's here. Nico, make me laugh, please. You know, last time we were here together, Rick had just slipped my throat open. <sighs> so this, hell, this ain't nothing. And you, you've been through enough. Wow. Point is, we came together and we made it. Common enemy, common goal. Facing evil brings good people together. Same thing. It's just that no one ever thinks that they're the evil one. 
I don't know, I think it's the effect of the last episode and this episode, but I just can't stop crying now. But I've made mistakes. Mistakes I can't make again. And you won't. You're strong. I'll need to be stronger for what comes next. Oh, what the fuck is gonna come next? Don't be strong, have a day off. Um, I really, oh at least she um, <laughs> dishes out the punishments to herself as well, I suppose. <sighs> Girl, you is not well, <laughs> I think you should lay down in the snow, make a snow angel and hope that the holy entity possesses your body and turns you normal again. We'll make it through this winter of our discontent and when the snow melts and the wind's quiet. Maybe you can even go back home to the kingdom someday. Just because we left our house doesn't mean we lost our home. Oh, they did get it up and running. They can not talk to each other. I have to go do my homework now. I'll tell my mom and say hello. Over oh, now. that's nice. I was saying how we needed mobile phones and a way to communicate with each other and we got one, I suppose. Hello? I'm here! Oh, Who was that? Cliffhanger. Woohoo! Okay guys, that episode and thus season 9 of The Walking Dead is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. And I said right at the top of this video that I'm actually going to go live on YouTube after this episode airs on YouTube. Because so much happened this season I need to do a deep dive on it. Like what? Seven, eight years in total? Past during this season alone? People lost their arms. We built a bridge. We blew up a bridge. People were assumed dead. People were taken away in a helicopter. People grew up. We found new friends. We lost some friends. We got a new enemy. We went to a fair. We went through a season change. People grew their hair. People lost their head. There were some watchmen, there were some walkie-talkie whisperers, there was some baby daddy drama, <laughs> and there was kid killing drama. We saw relationships blossom, marriages break down, redemptions happening. Wow. A lot happened in these 16 episodes. I forgot what season it was of this show, maybe six or seven? Um, one of them was like really, really slow paced and not a lot happened in that whole entire season. <laughs> this definitely made up for it, didn't it? So much has happened. It's not even until like the last five minutes of this episode, I was sitting and reminiscing. I just couldn't help it. I just started crying. Bitch, I am overwhelmed. But we'll talk more about it over on the live. Okay, so when it comes to season 10, I ain't gonna lie, this made madness upload all the time. It kind of kicked my butt. And in the beginning, I had such a lovely big gap between my YouTube uploads and my Patreon exclusives. However, because I was so determined to get this whole season out in one month on YouTube, the gap between the two has closed, which is very unacceptable. And it is very important that my paying Patreons get what they pay for. So here's me officially announcing that season 10 of The Walking Dead is going to be a Patreon exclusive season. At least until I've finished watching season 10 over there and then I'll start editing it for YouTube. Which means some of you might have a whole entire month without seeing my face, you lucky buggers. But if you are a glutton for punishment and you just cannot wait, then season 10 of The Walking Dead is in full swing over on my Patreon. Link for that is in the description below. If you want to be notified for when it does finally come to YouTube, then make sure you've hit the subscribe button. If you like this video and this season, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank everyone that has joined me on this season. Old faces, new faces. And to the ones that watch but don't comment, I still see you too, so thank you as well. I can't believe we've only got two seasons left of this. I am not ready to say goodbye, but with two seasons left, a lot can happen.
So until then, stay safe out there and thank you.